25 years after his death, Mr. Showmanship's once opulent and breathtaking Las Vegas home sits nearly in ruins. Liberace's show would begin with footage showing off his beautiful Las Vegas home. The footage you'll see later in this video is how the home now looks as it sits in foreclosure. Liberace. watch that video especially considering how the property looked this past Sunday as we decided to take a drive by the property I've lived in Las Vegas off and on for several years since 1988 I moved here about a year after Liberace passed away and I've never driven by the property and I was watching some videos on YouTube and came across some footage of him at the Las Vegas Hilton and I thought, you know, we've never been by his house. Uh, let's take a drive over there. To say that we were stunned and saddened, um, well, that's that's how, how it was. Uh, it's, it's As I'm watching this footage now, and you'll see close-ups here in a little bit of really just how bad. See, the you'll see on the left here the lights broken up there and the gates are all open and, and mangled and bent. That's the side entrance of his house. And I'm peering through the window here of the uh, the window um, located at the, uh, the carport entrance there that I just drove up to. And um, we'll take a look around the property, the outside of the property as well here in just a little bit. This is that, uh, that door uh, that I was looking through the windows just a second ago, only from the front of the property and um, I'm looking in through I'm not inside the house obviously we're just looking in through the window this was his magnificent bathroom tub this was his main bath that you saw in the video where Liberace was um, as you see as you can see it's uh, you know it's it's empty and bare and the inside of the property still still looks good the outside of the structure as you'll see here in a little bit um, of course is in need of major repairs and it's decaying um, terribly. Sometime in the 1960s Liberace purchased uh, two small homes that sit just minutes from the Las Vegas Strip and built them together. The area was very unassuming for the most part even in those times especially when you consider he could afford a property in a, 
a much more private and secluded area of Las Vegas, but for some strange reason he chose the area that he did. Actually, this property sits just down the street from UNLV. On the second floor atop the house, he added what was known as the Moroccan Room, and it was said to be Liberace's favorite part of the house. The biggest celebrities that played Vegas attended parties in the Moroccan Room and just like hanging out there. And through its windows was an amazing view of the Las Vegas Strip. And you'll see the outside of the Moroccan Room here in just a bit. Besides entertainment, Liberace had his hands in real estate developments all over Las Vegas. He designed and had built the Forest Hill townhome community of which he owned the model home on 15th Street closer to downtown Las Vegas which was known as Glitter Gulch at the time. He built his mother's home and the Mary Crest Manor condos on St. Louis Street. The most well-known tourist uh, attraction of course uh, of Liberace is the Tivoli Gardens Shopping Center which sits on East Tropicana where the museum was located of which Liberace actually opened when he was alive. Unfortunately, hard times have also struck the museum, and from what I understand, it also is closed. Now below this video, you'll find links to resources of some wonderful, spectacular pictures that'll take you inside Liberace's once beautiful property, the one that you're currently looking at now, right here in Las Vegas. And keep watching this video for actual real footage taken on the inside of this home several years ago before the foreclosure and the hard times struck the economy. Um, and of course the major downturn that has affected Las Vegas and its local residences here. You'll see footage of the inside of the mansion when it was still decorated with most of Liberace's furnishings as well as you'll see the ceiling of his master bedroom which was a replica of the Sistine Chapel Reportedly, it was painted by a descendant of Michelangelo. Right here is uh, the last of the inside of the property um, in this video, and then we'll go outside, and you'll see just how poor the condition. There's the Moroccan room right there. You'll see the windows at the top. That was the Moroccan room that overlooked the strip, had a beautiful fireplace in the middle of it. Just, uh, it's just sad to, to look at these videos and, and look at uh, this property as it sits currently at some stage in the foreclosure process. Primarily, I decided to make this video in hopes that possibly somebody with means, someone who has a great appreciation for not just Liberace, but the entertainment culture and history of Las Vegas in general, I hope that maybe somebody might see this footage and want to purchase and restore this once amazing, breathtaking property that's currently in foreclosure. I have no idea what stage of the foreclosure it's in. Like I said, I don't know if the banks are accepting offers or if it's going to be going to auction soon. I really don't know. Any real estate uh, agent in the Las Vegas area could probably find that information out for an interested property or interested person. Uh, Jack Levine, I believe, or Levine is his name. He deals with high-end properties. He's toured this property from what I've read on his blogs. He's got great pictures. As a matter of fact, those are the ones that I reference uh, below this video. You'll find links to Jack's real estate blog. Um, he could probably help you find out more about this property. I wanted to include some highlights of Liberace's life as well during this sad video in hopes that possibly it will strike a nerve with the right person who just might be able to help turn back the hands of time. Not just helping the property in and of itself, but it would certainly benefit the current residences in the area of this property who have also fallen victims of hard times. At the end of this video here, very shortly, I'm going to take you down the street and just show you something that it's it's just uh, it's a sign of of the economy and the hard times here in Vegas. This is out the at the outside the back side uh, of the property. Trash and just you could just see the the poor shape the property's in the gates the fencing around it. Again, these were taken this weekend, um, August the uh, approximately August fifth, August sixth. This is the side of the house. Here's a light that sits atop, just outside of Liberace's mansion. 
with his signature L on the gate. No grass in the yard, no, all the trees are, are gone and died. This is the property. As we scan down about six houses on the same side of the street of Liberace's. Wait till you see this. Another property that's in foreclosure, probably evicted and the stuff thrown to the streets by the sheriffs. I have no idea what happened here, but it's very troubling. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bridget Romanic. I'm Harry Hiswanek. You can call me Dez. And Dez. welcome to the former mansion of Liberace. This was two houses, and they converted it into one. One of the things about the house, this is actually Liberace's style. This is the way he liked it, and this is the way all his friends liked it. Well, it, it's him. It's absolutely it's him, and I think it's fantastic. <laughs> this particular piano he played in 1970 at the Johnny Carson show, oh, and Johnny okay. Carson gave this to him as a oh. present. Now I'm going to show you his master bedroom. Can you believe it? Yes, and 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 no. It's incredible. Look at the detail. Yeah. Ceiling. Well, this painting is very similar to the Sistine Chapel, and he had a special painter, a relative of Michelangelo, paint this. That's his original bed. Can I just? You can now, sit on it if you like. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely fun. I feel inspired. <laughs> We're going into the Moroccan room now. Oh, the Moroccan room. Oh my gosh, this is spectacular. It's overwhelmingly spectacular. This room has a lot of life in it. It's just really, really, really quite beautiful. And it gets, you know, get, it gets a little warmer because of the, the sun comes right in. That's why they actually call this, besides the Moroccan room, sometimes they call it the sun room as well. Well, I like that you try to really, really keep his presence here. As much as I can, and yeah. I'm going to continue to do so. Yeah, you can feel it. Now I'm going to show you the master bath. Mm. This Oof. bathroom still makes all the top magazines. As we've been walking around, mm -hmm. he's been listening to us. He's been watching us. Nibiracha. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> there he is right there. There he is. <laughs> You're right. like, favorite, and or share this video in hopes of helping to turn this property around as well as to help the locals of Las Vegas who are struggling because of the economy. Thank you for watching.